to us about the final quarter of the year. It looks as though the transformation that you've been undergoing is beginning to reap the benefits, especially when you look at um, your operating margin. Yes, hi, Julian. Great to see you again. It was a great uh, end to a, a transformational year. Overall, in the year, we improved our uh, operating margins by uh, 300 basis points from 9.5 to 12.5. Uh, we did say throughout the year that we expect uh, uh, different seasonality uh, this time, more even distribution of profits across the year, meaning that uh, the Q4 peak, as we have op often seen in the past, would not materialize. And it went pretty much as we uh, expected. We are very happy with our performance. Looking ahead, um, you're aiming for an underlying operating margin of 11 to 13 and a half percent this year and more than 14 percent in the next three to five years. Now, of course, for the whole of 2021, you saw an operating margin of 12 and a half percent. So what is going to drive that step up? Well, first of all, we are continuing to see strong end market uh, demand uh, in both mobile and uh, fixed broadband infrastructure. And that is then in turn fueling demand for uh, IP networks, uh, optical networks, routers, and uh, so on. That's one thing. Then the second thing is that we have significantly increased uh, in technology development, R&D technology leadership. We have now a much stronger product position that, than we had uh, a year or two ago. And when you put those two together, now the next target is that we will accelerate growth and uh, margin expansion. You have promised in the past to spend whatever it takes to make the technological investments necessary to um, you know, gain market share. What does the investment trajectory look like from here? We increased significantly our investment in 5G development, and that's especially what I said, that we will invest what it, whatever it takes to, to repeat our 4G success in 5G. And that's exactly what we have done. We have now excellent feedback from our customers uh, as to our technology competitiveness in uh, 5G. And of course, these investments will continue. I believe that, that the best way to deliver returns to shareholders is to take care of your technology competitiveness. What have you seen in terms of market share gains? I know investors are very keen to understand um, just how much you've closed that gap versus the competition with 5G. We have a combined 4G and 5G market share of uh, excluding China about uh, 26 percent. That has now stabilized on that level, and now our next goal is to start increasing it from there. Then in other businesses, especially in mobile, uh, no, no, sorry, fixed infrastructure, in uh, fixed broadband, uh, networks, we have a significant increase in market share. We had 35% uh, growth in that business, which was remarkable. And you announced today a reinstatement of your dividend. I know a lot of investors were asking the question, when would you do that? Um, give us an update on how you're thinking about your capital allocation strategy moving forward. The first priority in capital allocation is, is to always make sure that we have enough money to invest in R&D because, again, that is the most important thing we, we need to do to our shareholders. Once we have taken care of that, as we now have, then the next priority is shareholder distributions. We uh, are targeting fairly uh, uh, stable, uh, over the time, uh, increasing uh, dividends. Uh, now we are starting uh, from eight euros, uh, eight cents uh, per uh, share. And then in addition to that, if there are situations where we feel that we may have excess cash on balance sheet, then we may also do uh, from time to time decisions to do share buybacks as we are now doing as well.